October's Community Day is creeping up real soon, and as is tradition, how good is Lee Vanny with its new exclusive move, Shadow Claw? We're analyzing its viability, so let's claw our way into it. Welcome back, everyone. Upon evolution, Lee Vanny will get access to the exclusive fast move of Shadow Claw, obviously being one of the best fast moves in the game, but how does this leafy bug type perform with this new move? Well, Lee Vanny has a lot to overcome. As a grass and bug type, it's got a really poor defensive typing, weak to fire, rock, flying, ice, poison, and bug. And it's also a pretty glassy Pokemon, having similar but still lower bulk to Trevenant. So is there hope for Levani? For all its drawbacks, Levani does have a remarkably strong and spammy moveset. Specifically, with the moveset of Shadow Claw alongside Leaf Blade and X Scissor, it has a lot of pressure and pretty decent coverage. Shadow Claw gives it great energy gain to let it fire off its charged moves quickly, and it also gives a bit of coverage against things like Steel and Fire types. That said, it's probably not winning against either of those types. Performance-wise, Levani has a so-so win rate. It does do well to counter some strong meta threats like Azumarill, Malamar, Ampharos, Cresselia, Feraligatr, and Pangoro across the two lower leagues. However, it really can't withstand much in neutral matchups, which definitely hurts. I think Levani's speed and strength will come in handy in some limited formats like perhaps the Halloween Cup, but in the open leagues, I think it takes more planning to even try to make it work. And in raids, it's not worth the hassle as a grass or bug attacker. So overall, it seems like a pretty lukewarm community day. A new shiny is nice, but outside of that, it's just a pretty niche Pokemon. Down in the comments though, let me know what your thoughts on this calm day are. Is it a flop, or are you excited? And also, with there being just one more community day this year before the December recap, I want to know, who do you think will take November's calm day slot? And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.